How you guys doing today? Michael Liguori here with Cathedral Stone Products. Um, today we're doing a demo video on how to prep an area for a patch. Um, this here is your four inch grinder. We see this used commonly out in the field and I'm going to demo this tool in just a little bit. Um, we also have the chipping gun, very common tool used to plane the surface and create a great surface for um, your patch to adhere to. Um, but here we're going to demo the air hammer. This is a pneumatic air hammer. Um, we do use carbide tipped chisels and these are great because you can sharpen them on a green wheel and keep them going for years. Um, so I'm going to give this tool a shot here and demo it. The goal here is we want to trace the spall edge and then take out the middle. We're looking for 90 degree um, returns and about a half inch depth. That is the minimum for the yawn patch and we want to make sure we don't put on anything thin because thin patches tend to fail. So here we go. I'm going to get this thing going. One nice thing about the tool is you can dial back the pressure. So if we don't need a lot, we'll keep it on low mode here. So what we did here is we took off all the loose material, we got it down to a sound substrate. We created 90 degree edges around the whole area that's going to be patched and that's going to create a nice surface on the returns for the material to bond to. Um, we also used the tooth chisel to create a nice uh, surface texture for the material to bond to. And as you can see there's no feather edges, no areas where the material will be less than a half inch and that's the goal here. So once you've removed all the loose material and you've prepped your area for the patch, the next step is you want to remove all the loose dust and debris before you install the yawn patching mortar. So that's how you would prep an area for a patching material with using the air hammer. Now I'm going to demo the saw cut method with you guys outside. We're outside now. We previously demonstrated how to prep for a yawn patch by using a pneumatic air hammer. Now we're going to demonstrate prepping for a patch using a right angle grinder and a chipping gun. So now we've taken out all the deteriorated stone in the middle. We made some re nice relief cuts to make the chipping portion of it a lot easier. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a small chisel and make sure we get these corners. Because it's a round blade, sometimes you can have a buildup of still remaining stone in those corners and you want to clear that out. So 
So now you'll notice the, the minimum requirement we're looking for is a half inch in depth and we have achieved that here. I'm going to clean this stone off now so you can really see what we've done. This is ready for a yawn patch. Thank you for watching.